Hey everybody, Fred here, plcgurus.net. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, so if you've been following along on the channel here, or you're a member over at our companion website, plcgurus.net, you'll know that we talk everything automation and control systems, and that, that means things like programmable logic controllers, networking, computing, anything that has to do with factory automation, we talk about here on the channel. And so today I got a great nugget, a great piece of information, or rather a great piece of software that's completely free, that's gonna make your life so much easier when you're at customer facilities, diagnosing and troubleshooting equipment. This is what I'm gonna talk about in this video. Let's get going. Okay, so I do wanna say, if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing, smashing that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new videos, and giving me a thumbs up if you learned something in this video. Okay, so the tool I use, I mean, almost all the time when I'm at customer facilities, particularly when I'm not familiar with their network infrastructure, is called Advanced IP Scanner. And so I'm going to zoom into the URL here. You can go to advanced-ip-scanner.com. And I mean, this is a free tool. And I got to tell you, it's lightweight. It works extremely, extremely well. And it, look, you can see it's used by over 50 million users. And so it's perfectly compatible with Windows 10. And again, it's free. So just go ahead and click this download link here. And that's just gonna take a second to download and install. And you can see here, I'm downloading it now. And once we get it downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of options that you're gonna have to run this software. Okay, so it's finished downloaded. It only took a second and you can see I've downloaded it to my desktop here. Now I want you to go ahead and keep this exe file or this installer file and put it on a USB stick or something that you can take with you when you go on site to commission equipment or whatever you're doing. Now I want to show you this. So I'm just going to double click to go ahead and launch the installer. I'm going to choose English. And then you have two options here and I really like this because if you're using your own laptop and your own desktop, then just go ahead and install it, no problem. It's perfectly safe and it works perfectly well. But I do like this option for running it off a USB stick in that it's a portable version and there's no installation needed. So it's just gonna run off of whatever drive you're using. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that and I'm gonna click run. And that's just gonna take a second and here we go. This is the main uh, dialogue that you're going to get. And to scan the network, you're just going to choose this scan button. So I'm going to click that. And of course, I'm connected on my home network right now. So you're going to see all my home devices show up here. But I got to tell you, this is going to work just as well on any network that you're connected to. And of course, it's only going to show you those devices that are actually on and connected. And I, I mean, I just love this tool because it just goes out and does all the work for you and tells you exactly what's currently connected to the network you're on. And so that's going to go ahead and run. Obviously, you know, I've got quite a few devices here on my home network anymore that I think that's the case. But uh, and I'm going to go ahead and, and just probably blur out these MAC addresses. Um, but you can see here it gives you the IP address. Um, it gives you the, the name of it. It gives you the manufacturer type, if it can pull that information. I mean, this is great. So I'm going to go ahead and let that finish the scan, and then I'll come back and show you some other useful things you can do. Okay, so you can see it's completed the scan, and it's found everything that's currently connected to my network. And I got to tell you, this is an indispensable tool when you're out on the field and you don't necessarily know or recognize all the different devices that you're connecting into. I mean, if you're dealing with one vendor, I mean, they have their own tools like RS Links. However, if you have multiple vendor type devices, you know, you're not gonna be able to get this kind of detail necessarily from a, an RS Links or one of these other um, driver type packages, okay? And so Advanced IP Scanner, I gotta tell you, where all these other tools fail, it really works, and I, I, you know, I'm not getting any, making any money off pitching this. Really, it's it's completely free software, and I just wanted to put another tool in your toolbox uh, to make you more efficient, more productive when you're out on the factory floor. Now, I do want to show you a couple of the other features, and I mean, there's a whole bunch of features 
with this software, but I'm just gonna pick one device. And this is my uh, NAS storage device, the, the, the WD uh, MyCloud here. And if you right click on any IP, uh, you get this nice uh, little drop down where you have all kinds of different controls at your disposal. And I'm not gonna go through all of them. Obviously, there's a whole bunch here and you could play with it, I mean, at your leisure. But I did wanna show you some of the um, useful ones anyways that I tend to use quite a bit, one of them being the ping. And so yes, you can go and launch the command prompt and do that, but I mean, this is nicer, right? I mean, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch ping. And this is a great uh, command to use if you're trying to troubleshoot, say connection timeouts, or you're getting intermittent connection failures to certain devices. And you can see here, it's going out and pinging that, and it's telling you the time it's taking, I mean, very fast, obviously. And it's just gonna keep doing that um, until you stop it, really. But again, a nice tool. So I'm just gonna close that. And then I wanted to come back in here and just take a look at some of these other tools. So there's also Trace Cert or Trace Route. And this will show you all the different hops you're taking to get to a certain device, which is nice, up to 30 hops. You can see this only took one because everything is directly connected to my router. So no big deal. It shows you the speed, the IP. Again, a very useful troubleshooting tool to, to find different devices, how they're connected, and how you're going hop to hop, up to 30 hops anyhow. And again, it just keeps going on and on from here. I mean, I can go in here. Um, you can look at, uh, you know, Telnet. You can set, has Telnet window if you want to Telnet into a router. Um, what else do we have here? We have SSH. I mean, there's just a whole bunch of other tools here, FTP. Again, I mean, I'm not going to go into all the detail. The primary reason I use this tool is to figure out what's connected to the network I'm currently on, to do some ping tracer, some of these other things. If I need to set up a Telnet or an SSH session into a managed switch, I can do that right with this tool. So again, um, a, a really, really powerful tool that's completely free to use and install and deploy however you see fit. Okay, so before I let you go, I do wanna do a quick plug for the website. If you haven't already come on over to the website at plcgurus.net and become a member, I do encourage you to do that. I mean, membership is completely free and there's lots of great resources here on the site. Um, we're constantly pumping out articles about anything that has to do with industrial automation and controls. I mean, you can go here and peruse the site at your leisure. There's all kinds of really, really great stuff here. And also on the site, I'm just gonna scroll back up to the top. We do have a forum where, I mean, we have members just like you who are professional engineers, technologists, technicians all over the world who are actively participating in our forums. So come on over. We've got it broken down into different categories that really make sense from general automation questions uh, to Rockwell on Bradley, anything Siemens, and any other type of controller or automation question under the sun you're gonna find a place for your question or your answer in one of these. And of course, I'm just gonna flip over to the YouTube channel again. Please do, if you haven't, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Become a YouTube follower. We have over 5,000 followers currently and we're trying to grow. And then of course, let's keep that YouTube algorithm happy. If you enjoyed and learned something in this video, please do consider giving me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.